Jackie DeJong, at six years old in Norway, was a stud snowboarder. Her parents set up a Facebook account to show her off, and by the time she was eight, they had set up an Instagram. Jackie started getting free gear from big name brands. Her parents regularly posted videos of her snowboarding, surfing, and skateboarding. The account started getting messages from men with pics, which her parents would delete. Over time, Jackie began to run the accounts and the predation escalated. When she was 13, she began promoting a swimwear brand. Jackie started getting requests from photographers who offered to bring her to the U.S. to do special photo shoots. There were internet forums where Jackie's racy photos were being traded, where pedophiles were discussing how to groom her. So by 15 years old, Jackie is actively getting recruited to share images of herself for money, and Jackie's parents felt she was mature enough to make her own decision on this. So here's where the trafficking started. Within just a couple of years, Jackie had earned over $800,000 selling photos of herself to men online. She began recruiting other teenagers to teach them about her business model. To sell racy images without outright nudity, therefore getting around nudity filters on platforms like Instagram. The day after Jackie turned 18, she joined OnlyFans and Playboy.com to further make money off of her body. Jackie recently spoke out about her experience in the New York Times. She defends her work, her business, by calling critics body haters, denying that she is desensitized to child exploitation that she is actively participating in. Jackie acknowledges that this creator economy makes it easy for predators to target young girls, but she sees no connection between the men who bother her online and her daily life. The New York Times looked further into this phenomenon of parent-run Instagram accounts parents posting photos and videos of their young daughters, charging a subscription for premium content. What they found is that the majority of subscribers to the children's content were adult men, and Instagram's algorithm was promoting these profiles to men who have a sexual interest in children. I want to be very clear on my stance here. Trafficking nude imagery of children is never okay, whether the parents give permission or not. Tech companies like Meta, Snap, or Telegram allowing for and often promoting the trafficking of CSAM is criminal. If these companies aren't going to protect our children from exploitation, parents need to be the last line of defense. Please protect your child's image. With new developments in generative AI, the risk is even greater. I'm talking about AI tools that can take a clothed photo of your child and make them naked and then turn that photo into a video of them performing sexual acts. This is your child's identity. It is their life at stake. We have to protect it by limiting what we share and teaching our children about the value of privacy.